On this episode of The Road Chose Me, I'm at the Afi Mountain Drill Ranch in Nigeria, hanging out with a couple of friends of mine. Now with my Cameroon visa in hand, I head north from Calabar, aiming for the Afi Mountains of Nigeria. As the day wears on, the road gets smaller and smaller, and the villages with less and less people. A few have interesting roadblocks, but there aren't any problems. As you can see, the sun is getting mighty close to the horizon. I'm going this way in an attempt to get to the Afi Mountain Drill Ranch. This is a sanctuary set up by a couple of Americans for the highly endangered drill monkey. It so happens they also have chimpanzees here and I'm really excited to see what the place is all about. Been here at Drill Ranch the more I feel like I'm at Jurassic Park. So you can see the jungle here is just perpetually trying to encroach on everything, trying to take over the buildings. And uh, so one of the things here that reminds me so much of Jurassic Park is that everything, all of the enclosures are surrounded by electric fences. And so every time we go near them, we talk about is the fence on or is the fence off? And I keep wondering about Jurassic Park. And uh, so this is the food shack here where they keep all the bananas, avocados, papayas. And it's a full-time job, as you can imagine, to keep these animals fed. And so, of course, I don't know if it's because I'm 15 years old or because I'm Australian, I feel the need to play with electric fences. So this one they tell me is about 5,000 volts and so when I touch it I can feel it there shocking me. It's a little bit like a cattle fence and uh, the first time I did this everyone was a bit surprised. They said, oh, normally it hurts a lot more than that. And then I got to thinking about it and I'm wearing big thick rubber soled flip flops. So, in the interest of science, here's what happens when I put my bare foot on the ground and now I touch the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is about 5,000 volts and the chimp enclosure, the chimps are a lot more pr prone to escaping. They, uh, they feel the need to get out a lot more. And so that fence runs about 7,000 volts. And I touched it once and I'm not gonna touch it again. So it certainly reminds me of Jurassic Park a lot, this place. And so the main attraction here at Drill Ranch is the drill monkeys themselves. There are hundreds and hundreds of them kept inside these enclosures. They're fed three times a day, and feeding is when I get the best look at them. The hope is to eventually reintroduce these animals into the wild and hopefully boost their population. Here you can see the huge difference between the females, which are quite small, and the enormous males that have these red markings on their faces. It becomes clear quickly the big ones are just bullies take all the food off the little ones and the females. So they are always scampering around trying to pick up whatever they can. I like the drill monkeys, but they're not nearly as interesting as the chimpanzees. This is the chimps getting wound up because they know they're about to be fed. Just like the monkeys, it becomes really clear who's a bully and tries to beat up others and who's just content to hang out and chill. Here's one of the chill guys I really get to like. He doesn't even care when all the others around him are fighting or hitting each other or stealing his food. He just hangs out. He's chill. Soon I become completely enthralled watching how human-like these chimps are as they stand up on their back legs and indicate they want food. They even beg for it, clap their hands and jump up and down. You go to the other side and eat. See where they are going. So you join them there. Then I'll feed other people. Don't touch this way. Once they all have their own stash of food, for the most part, they settle down and just eat. I feel so lucky to be able to just lie on the grass on the other side of the fence and watch this up close. As I return day after day, 
I get to know individual characters, and I like to think they got to know me a little bit as well. Often they would mimic my body position. I always really liked this grey dude. He's not particularly old, he's actually just a different kind of chimp and has come all the way from Sierra Leone, so he just has a different colouring than the rest. It's extremely hard to tear myself away, but unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. If you're ever in Nigeria, I highly, highly recommend a visit to the Drill Ranch. Check out their website so you can find out how to get there. It's time to go to bed here at Drill Ranch and uh, I'm just about to crawl up into the Jeep and go to sleep. And uh, I wanted to show you guys these are the sounds of the jungle that I get to fall asleep to every night. I'll leave you guys with this to finish my time here at Affy Mountain Drill Ranch.